Okay, welcome guys to a review of the Manfrotto tripod uh, and this one is the 190 XDB with the 804 RC2 uh, hat which is the uh, basic pan tilt hat with uh, sorry with a quick release plate okay so this one let me just show you how it looks like complete uh, it is weighing 2.35 kg in total uh, can load up to 4 kg on top has a minimum height of 47 centimeters, a maximum height of 1 meter 58, uh, which we have obviously now. And um, with the center column down, which is this one here, uh, the maximum height uh, will be 130, 1 meter 30.5. And if you close the whole thing together, which I'm going to show you later, it's going to be 65 and a half uh, centimeters. So let me show you a little bit more about the tripod itself. So as you can see, you have uh, three elements uh, for the legs of the tripod, which you basically can unscrew here uh, with uh, separate screws on each leg. And then you have one more um, secure clip, which is that one. If you just push that one down, you can move it further down. See, anywhere we leave it, it's going to stand like that. Okay. So you can go really, really low with this thing. So it is the maximum. Okay, let's put it up again. And you can see it's, it's, it stands again. So you have to unscrew this one. This one is the one to unscrew the hat itself. And then on top, <coughs> what do we have on top? You can tilt the whole thing forward and backwards and you have here degrees between 30 and 90 degrees so why would you need 30 degrees it's not as much as you think so if we turn on the camera uh, you can see where we are so if you're if you're gonna be a bit too close to the subject it's not gonna be enough for you but for everyday uh, use I guess it will be fine so going down we have 90 degrees so why would you need that? This is basically if you shoot anything on the table or you make a review of something, that will help you a lot. Let's go back. <coughs> then you have the one on the right side, a smaller level, which is basically just to tilt the camera around. You can turn it around completely. Yeah, 360 degrees. Yeah, and the one on top, sorry, then this one, will basically tilt the camera so you can level it out so we have now this uh, raster you can see the three diagonal uh, sorry the two diagonal and two vertical lines so you can basically adjust it if it's not level and you can obviously put it in a portrait as well sorry and put it in portrait as well here we go so let's just fix that for now if you want to make sure that this one actually is leveled, if you don't have these lines on your camera, you have that water scale here, which uh, will obviously move accordingly. So this would be one indicator that you can use if you do not have this uh, these lines on your camera, which actually you should have. Right, so you can see how the bubble inside moves. Okay. So then we have the quick release hat, which is this particular thing here. So uh, let me try to, uh, to show to you how this works. Okay, so if you push that one down and you move that thing over here. See, it has a secure secure lock, which is this one. So if you wanna really unrelease the camera, you have to flip it open until here. And then you can take it out, yeah? Okay. So you basically have that part on the bottom here. And I'll show you in a moment how to take this one off because I have to put it on the tripod yes. itself. So here we go. Uh, so basically, how do you release this one, uh, which is very good rather than a screw and having maybe a knife or something with you, a screwdriver, just flip this one on, on the side and then you can just turn it around. Okay, here we go. That's the plate. See, it has kind of a rubberized rubber is kind of uh, pattern in it. it is kind of rubber and then you have obviously the screw here to 
tighten it and lose it up. The camera and the camcorder on the tripod uh, just to show you something. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zoom with that one, which has a 25 times optical zoom, uh, to the place over there. I'm uh, just going to show you now with this camera for a moment and uh, after this one I'm going to show you two shots. One will be the shot taken on a tripod or basically the zoom in on a tripod, the other one will be the one without. So let me just show you which one where we're going to go to. Obviously I cannot go as far as uh, with the camcorder on this camera here. We're going to go over that place where you see the blue one, the building, the construction site. I'm going to see some construction workers there. So let me show you that one. some things that you can do with the camera basically so as you can see it's very very stable uh, you don't have anything moving and the nice thing with the tripod is actually that you can do like this pan move which is uh, obviously with some help so you can do like this panning from left to right and obviously it's very nice and stable so let's try to follow this boat here now Zoom a bit in, and then we follow the boat. And there's another one coming, so we're gonna just continue and trying to catch this one as well. Okay, here we go. Same thing again, other way around. So you can do some nice effects with the tripod actually, which you couldn't do if you just would do handheld. I think you can see the difference. So, the camera out now, and I'm recording handheld. So obviously, you will see a difference. Uh, I'm trying to stabilize it as much as I can, but obviously, when I'm moving, I'm going up and down, and I'm not doing this on purpose. Obviously, there's a difference between a handheld and a tripod. Time to the plate. So, I what I forgot to tell you guys actually, if you look at. Uh, uh, that one, it has an indicator of where the lens is supposed to go to if you uh, put it in because obviously the thing is different from both sides, right? So it will only fit one way. So as you can see, it says here lens with the arrow over there means that thing has to go in like that. You can see it snaps in it and actually just to secure it, you can tighten it up a little bit. So as you can see, see I can tighten it up a bit. So that thing is really, really uh, uh, locked in now uh, and one more time I'm going to show you this water scale as you can see uh, very very handy if you want to just uh, level out uh, the horizon with that thing no? so now I did a little setup just to show you okay why is it actually so important that you have flexible legs uh, which you can adjust uh, separately from each other so as you can see now in this adjustment uh, I have one leg that I uh, moved further down and I uh, shorten it up a bit as well, so what you will see on this side. That is the leg, it's obviously it has a different angle now than the other ones. Let me show you from a different perspective. Here you can see it better. And exactly this is the reason why you need like separate uh, legs which you can adjust separately from each other. Uh, so you can adjust it according to the surface that you're standing on. And this will help you a lot if you're in uneven surfaces or if you're somewhere in the forest, in the mountains or something like that. So that's a great thing uh, to have. And let me show you as well the model so, number. One my Frotto 190 XDB is the bottom part, which is the tripod. And let me just show you the hat, which is the 804 RC2. So let me show you from different sides.
just want to show you again if I put all the legs up again so this is the height that you're gonna have and I'm gonna go show you different combinations now from how you can adjust the height because obviously they say it's the minimum height is 47 centimeters so I want to show you how to here we go there. this is how it's gonna be I guess most probably the lowest possible position on that tripod which is now 47 centimeters let me show you and so you see it's really really low compared to this is uh, one the lowest and the highest with 158 so you really have a verse, uh, versatile use for the tripod here we have the last position of the tripod that you can basically use which is folding it together and putting it down obviously you can put the hat uh, turn it around a bit uh, to make it a bit more compact but this is basically it that's how we're going to transport it. and uh, here we go yeah.